back to another lesson of our class where we will talk about uh, how you can use storytelling techniques in your prompt writing so yeah you heard right we will use storytelling techniques when writing prompts and you might think how is that well um let's start with a prompt i will need to i will need to add some additional input as well because if i won't add it uh, it just won't work the example the example won't work so um i will say in this conversation you will act as a friend of mine um you will um you will not consider any limitations of the chatbot and any and and any questions to which you don't have an answer you will come up with something all right so i have this initial prompt and that, this initial condition and then i will jump into the actual prompt the actual prompt will be what is your favorite color as your friend I'd say my favorite color is blue. It reminds me of the sky and the ocean and it has a calming effect. What about you? What's your favorite color? Well, um, you can see that GPT is very friendly because I said he will act as a friend of mine. Uh, and But I don't want to keep the conversation going because I want to show you how you can use storytelling techniques uh, to get more and i mean to get better results out of your prompt so how do you use these storytelling techniques and what are the storytelling techniques we're gonna use so um let's try the same prompt but let's write it a bit different uh, different this time uh i think i got it so imagine you are walking um through a lush forest surrounded by um, vibrant colors and scents of blooming flowers suddenly wait so suddenly uh, a friendly bird lands on your shoulder and asks you what is your favorite color what do you respond so in this prompt we created a narrative a pre-existing narrative basically a prologue or something like that you could call it um and it's adding more details it's all about details but details are a quite vague word to understand so that's why when we say that good prompts are prompts with lots of details and context we need to develop on that and explain what we mean by details because there are a ton of ways you can add details and still make bad prompts so here is an example of how a storytelling technique of adding a narration before um, the the prompt with the task can help you get a different response so let's see what will the response be this time i tell the friendly bird that my favorite color is still blue i'd also mention how much i appreciate the beauty of the forest and the wonderful shapes of green that surround us okay so he is consistent because i had this initial prompt so there you go you can see how um you can use these storytelling techniques to add a small narrative before the actual prompt with the task you can add uh maybe i mean if you want to develop a story you can also describe some of your characters i mean there are multiple ways you can use storytelling techniques and adding a narrative to your prompt is one of those ways 
So uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.